Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Veggie Aussie Chick. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sort of struggling to do this video, I don't know why. I am waiting for a phone call, but um, I don't know if they're going to call me today or tomorrow or what's going on. But maybe that's kind of why I've been a little bit tense, I don't know or tense since Friday, <laughs> uh, since it's Monday today. So anyway, this video is going to be about Australian spiders. I'll only really go into three, um, three main ones that I know of that are over here. There are others. Um, there are so many different species of spiders over here. I assume I'm not a spider expert. I don't particularly like spiders. Um, so before I go into the three that I want to go into, I just came across, um, three others that I didn't even know existed. I won't go into too much detail about them, but if you want to read up about them, um, this information is from backyardbuddies.org.au. Um, so this first one is called a St. Andrew's cross and it's quite a pretty looking spider. Not that I'm really into spiders, but. And then we've got a trapdoor spider. So they just look like that. Kind of look a little bit like crabs. Well, not really, but or maybe like mud crabs or something. And this last one is a wolf spider. Don't know if you can see them very clearly. The main, I guess, two that you would see, especially in Brisbane, the main ones or the, yeah, well, I guess the main two that I would see often uh, a daddy long legs, so they just look like that. They're pretty harmless anyway. Sometimes you can hardly see that they're there. Um, or like you might walk into one or something like that without even realise. Um, and the other common one is a huntsman, and that looks like that. But I just read this because I just tried to do this video, and it said there are 94 known species of huntsman. So that's um, that's just incredible. Um, so I'll start with huntsmen and then I'll get on to daddy long legs. So what do huntsmen spiders look like? Huntsmen spiders are rather hairy and can be as wide as 15 centimetres. Their front legs are larger than the back ones and bend forwards like those of a crab. I just mentioned like a crab before, a mud crab. Um, this shape also allows them to crawl in all directions very quickly. And as I said, yeah, there are 94 known species of huntsmen. Um, yeah, we often have huntsmen, huntsmen in our garage. Um, they just seem to appear or a lot, a lot in summer. Uh, I haven't seen many of late since we're now in winter. But yeah, I don't, I don't like them though. But they're not really, they're pretty harmless if that makes sense. So, daddy long legs. Most of our backyard buddies find their way inside our homes and take up temporary residence. And one of the most successful and ever present is the daddy long legs spider. Almost every house or shed in Australia has been home to the messy tangled web of the daddy long legs, especially as the weather begins to cool. Oh, there you go, towards winter and the spiders seek warmth indoors. Uh, it does continue, but um, yeah, so they're the main two that you would probably see I would assume all over Australia, but um, definitely in Brisbane if you come to Brisbane. But those two are pretty harmless, as I said. So if you want to read up more about uh, Daddy Long Legs, Spiders, Huntsman Spiders, or any of the other three that I mentioned, um, you can get this information from backyardbuddies.org. Um, and you can read up about all the um, Australian spiders that we have over here. Um, so I'm going to leave the video here for now and come back and talk about the redback spider. See you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of the spider video. I'm just going to have a drink because I have been trying to do this video for the last 20 minutes and I can't get it done. Oh. Oh. That's a really good sparkling water, by the way. If you guys are looking for a sparkling water. Um, yeah, so the last uh, spider I'm going to be talking to you about is the redback spider. Um, and this is quite a dangerous spider. 
So I'll just read a little bit of information. This is just from Wikipedia. There are 42 pages, but I'm not going to read 42 pages. I said I don't have 42 pages here. I only printed off the first couple of pages to just give you a little bit of information about um, this particular spider. So the redback spider, also known as the Australian black widow, is a species of highly venomous spider believed to originate in South Australia. However, it's now found throughout the country. Although I don't think I've ever seen one. I haven't seen one in my house or anything like that. Um, that's what it looks like there. You might be able to see that. It does have red on it. Um, so I'll tell you how it kills its prey. Um, so it kills its prey by injecting a complex venom through its two fangs when it bites before wrapping them in silk and sucking out the liquefied insides. Oh, that just, oh, that just disgusts me. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, now just to like another known interesting fact, I didn't read this in this article. Maybe it's on the other pages. I don't know. Um, but I read that only the female bite is dangerous not the male bite if that makes sense so i don't know how you distinguish between a male and female redback spider because i'm not really qualified in um spiders or have been educated in spiders or not that i wouldn't have a clue um but you'd probably feel the symptoms and you feel pain and stuff like that so if they bit you say on the arm here um i did read that uh you may have pain for 24 hours probably best to get to your doctor or a hospital ASAP um, because deaths have occurred. I have, um, I read that as well. Um, you can become, or you can just become very, very sick. So um, some other symptoms, nausea, vomiting, headache, and agitation. So if you get any of those and you feel as though you have been bitten by a red back spider, a female one, uh, you'd probably know like if you like got really sick and stuff like that. So um, yeah, just try and get some medical attention ASAP. Um, guys, I don't think I have too much more to say about that particular spider or spiders in general. Um, uh, as I said, I'm not really a fan. I don't particularly like spiders, but um, just that I do another video on it. It's funny. I had, um, what do you call it? Was it two or three? I think two videos just sort of like, like ideas came to me for videos over the last couple of days. I went, oh, yep. Yeah. So I finished one over the weekend, just finished that one. So yeah, and I'm hoping to put up a foodie one very soon as well. Maybe I would I probably already have, I don't know. Anyway, I will leave it there. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I know some of you aren't subscribed, so hit that bell. It's free. You don't have to pay. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.